The first reading is a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in regard to virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. So this is what I think best because of the present distress, that it is a good thing for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek separation. Are you free of a wife? Then do not look for a wife. If you marry, however, you do not sin, nor does an unmarried woman sin if she marries. But such people will experience affliction in their earthly life, and I would like to spare you that. I tell you, brothers, that time is running out. From now on, let, uh, let those having wives act as not having them. Those weeping act as not weeping, for those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, and those using the world as not using it fully. For the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Hear, O daughter, and see, turn your ear, forget your people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your Lord, and you must worship him. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. All glorious is the king's daughter as she enters. Her raiment is threaded with spun gold. In embroiderment apparel she is borne in to the king. Behind her the virgins of her train are brought to you. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. They are born in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The place of your fathers your sons shall have. You shall make them princes through all the land. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. My brothers and sisters, may our Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Raising his eyes towards his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who now are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exclude you and they insult you and they denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in the same way. The Gospel of the Lord. And so today we see Luke's version of the Beatitudes. And the Beatitude means blessedness or happiness. And Jesus is telling us this is the way for us to be happy. And the only way to make sense of this, especially because in Luke's gospel, we got the woes in there with the Beatitudes, the woe to you if you're rich and woe to you. And some of you are thinking, okay, I'm, I've got some money, I must be woed. It's only if you let that control you, huh? It's only if, let, if you're living for this world. You know, the, the first reading gives us a sense about how to put the Beatitudes in the context. For the world in its presence form, in its presence form, is passing away. So again, if we build up treasures just here on earth and we're living for now and it's only about now, woe to us. But if we're living for God and we're living for eternity and we're living lives of love, well, blessed are we. It's all a choice, it's all a decision. Live for now and be miserable or live forever and be happy. Live forever, that's what we're living for. Let's do it for his glory and for our life. May each of you know his love today and forever. Amen.